Hey guys, I'm Hannah Grant. We're gonna make energy bars today and we're gonna make jet bars. This is my mom's recipe for muesli bars, baked muesli bars, and they're gonna make you fast as f To make these energy bars, we're gonna need some ingredients. We're gonna need some mixed muesli, unsweetened and uncooked, so no toasted muesli. We're gonna need mixed nuts. We're gonna need some liquid honey. We're gonna need some cane sugar, a tiny bit of salt, and then we're gonna need some chia seeds. Now for the mixing. I'm gonna heat up the honey just so it's a bit more liquid than it actually is coming out of the container. This makes the muesli and the nuts kind of like mix better in instead of like having it long and sticky like that. Let that heat up medium heat. Don't pump it up at full throttle because then you're going to burn it and that's bad. So whilst that heats, add the ingredients like this. The chia seeds, you want to wait with those because we're going to see how the texture is and we're going to add a little bit depending on how liquid and how soft it is. All right, you can see now the texture is really, really liquid like this. And that means we just add it to the mixture. And then we mix. And just for the fun of it, this is actually a really nice texture, but if you have it a little more liquid than that, you want to add a few chia seeds. So we're just going to do that. So when the mixture is like this, we just spoon it into the baking tin with baking paper or else your bars are gonna be stuck forever in your baking tin. And just spread it out like this. Then it's ready to go into the oven at 130 degrees Celsius for about 45 minutes. Keep an eye on it, because all ovens, they work differently. And if yours is a super oven, it's gonna burn. So check it after 30 minutes. Into the oven it goes. 40, 45 minutes, keep an eye on it. That's important. So once the jet bars are baked, First of all, we just want to make sure that they're really tightly pressed down. So baking paper on top and then just put your weight on it, squeeze them down tight. And then you want to cool it halfway down because right now it's going to be too crumbly to cut. So you want to leave it for maybe 20 minutes. And when it's kind of cooled down, we can flip it out and then cut it and then let it cool down completely. So once it's cooled down kind of halfway, you can kind of like feel it's a little bit soft still but not set completely. We wanna lift it out of the baking tin and then cut it into nice bar sizes. Then your jet bars are ready and you wanna store them in an airtight container, not in the fridge. They're gonna go sticky if you put them in the fridge. So the jet bars are done. They're gonna make you fast as f If you wanna see more recipes for energy bars, click up here. And if you wanna see more of my recipes, click down here. And if you want to subscribe to GCN's videos, just click on me. Thank you for watching. God damn it! Rune, where's your nuts?